did Aaron tell you in your, your post game meeting uh, about the, uh, the the play there at second base at third base? I haven't talked to him. Okay. And just how, how much did you need that home run tonight? I really needed it. So I'm just uh, I'm happy to finally be on the board. We go next to Meredith Brockman. Clint, you talked about working hard in the cage, changing your stance a little bit, trying to do things to get going offensively. What significant changes did you make to get in a good place at the plate? Um, I think the biggest, I think that it's two, two things. The biggest thing was like, I was trying to use my legs a lot more, trying to put a lot more, you know, emphasis on getting into that back leg. And then two, I was trying not to let my hands drop so much because when I where my hands start versus where they were finishing the last few weeks, it's, it was a significant drop, and and I think that was causing a few things to go wrong. And it was something I monitored the last few days, and I, I feel good about you know what happened tonight. How much was it weighing on you, not producing offensively like you think you could? It was uh, it was an experience that I haven't experienced too often. Um, you know, obviously. I came into this season, not my, just myself, a lot of us with expectations and it hasn't gone the way for us all um, the way that we want it to. And, and for us as a team to put together the night like we did tonight, it definitely takes pressure off the team and, and pressure off each person individually whenever we're clicking like we are. And, and John Carlo Stanton kind of said that hitting's contagious. It's also heating up outside. How much is there to that? It's definitely contagious. Unfortunately, I has I I did not get infected by it the last few weeks. So you know uh, until tonight. So I'm just I'm just glad that you know guys like DJ, guys like Stanton, they led the way for for some of us guys that are a little bit further down in the lineup to you know feed off of their uh, success. Eric Bullitt, please unmute. Clint, can you kind of just go through what happened on the uh, on the play at third? Um, it was just, it can't happen. You know, it was a bad base running mistake. You know, I joked with a few guys. I was, haven't been out there in a while and was just so excited to try to get to third. So, you know, it's a bad base running mistake. There's not really any other way to, you know, sum it up other than it, it can't happen and it's, it's not going to happen again. Thanks, Clint. You go next to Bruce Beck. Clint, do you think a night like this can can jumpstart your season offensively? Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially because, you know, obviously it hasn't looked pretty the last few weeks, but the last week or so I've felt really close. You know, I fouled off a lot of balls. I had a lot of walks there for a short period of time. And, you know, I felt like I was really close, but didn't have the – I didn't have the – the success yet you know as far as putting the ball in play and getting a hit so the uh the way that i turned on that 3-1 fastball in my last at bat hitting it foul that's something that i haven't done in a while and, and i definitely think that the feel that i have at the plate i'm going to i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let that go anymore i'm gonna hold on to that as long as i can do you think your experience just being in the big leagues a little bit has helped you during this stretch and kind of got you through a difficult period yeah, you know, I mean, we have a lot of really good people in my in, in our corner right now, you know, teammates, coaches, we have a, a great psychologist and, and, you know, I have a lot of support people back home that are have been reaching out, but, you know, sometimes it does become an overload and, and you gotta, you know, remind yourself what you did to, to make yourself make yourself successful and, and, and how you went about it and, and today. I, I did some early work with Marcus and PJ and, and left feeling really encouraged that, you know, today is going to be the day and struck out the first at bat, but, you know, tried to, I tried to live in the, the moment, you know, and, and forget about the success and the, the failure and just live in that moment. And, and I, I feel good about what happened.